Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. We are here, happy Sunday, or whatever day it is that you're watching this vlog. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I just recorded a reaction video, a video of me watching and reacting to my old YouTube videos. I picked like three or four of them and good Lord, it was extremely stressful. I did not want to do it at all, but I'm actually glad I got over it. I feel better about it now that it's done. Go watch that video. It's already up on my channel if you want to laugh because it's absurd. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Big update this morning. I went to the dentist and I got my permanent veneers in and here they are. What do we think? What a journey it's been. So now I can do my like tell all teeth video. If you guys are still interested in that, let me know in the comments. Are you guys interested in hearing like the whole story of like w how we started to how we got here? Cause I'm happy to share that story now that I'm done, but it was, this has been a long time in the making. Anyway, here they are. I feel that the new front front one is a touch long. So my dentist was like, wear it or obviously like live for another week. And then let's just see how you feel because, you know, just like living in it. Wow. Living in it, looking at it in different lights, in different whatever. He was like, you might feel differently. So I don't want to do anything to it unless you're certain. So he can always shave it down, but they are so straight. They look like real teeth, which is the coolest thing ever. There is no weird, like I had this like, space like gap here because this tooth was so much higher up. I just feel like they look so nice. It was just like one of those things that I was so insecure about for so long. And especially being on camera all the time, it was the only thing I looked at. My eye was just drawn to this spot right here where I had that tooth that was like a little too high up. So now that it's fixed, I am, I feel so good about it. I'm like, thank God that's finally over and yay. So I had to share that update with you guys. I'm about to go record the podcast for this week. Jill and I are doing a little like pre Oscars episode that's gonna be this, that will be out by the time um, this vlog goes up. So go listen to that. We actually watched a few Oscar noms, Oscar noms, Oscar video nominations, nominees. I'm all wound up from that video guys, sorry. And we're gonna like be talking about them. We're gonna be talking about like the different categories and our reviews of the video of the movies and whatever, it's gonna be fun. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go record that in the next 10 minutes. So I'm excited about that. And then I got a bunch of stuff in from Amazon. So I might do an Amazon haul in this video, I'm not sure. Or I might save that for its own video because I got a lot of stuff, but I wanna show you because I'm wearing one of the sets right here that I got. Here it is. This is my free people jacket that I always wear. You guys know this, but here's the set. It's this like t-shirt. How cute, right? Okay. The one downside, the butt, the butt is a little see-through. So I would say if you're going to get this, just be prepared to wear it and style it this way where you have something covering your butt. I still think it's so cute. Like, and I don't feel like it's see-through in the front. Like I feel fine about this, but like I said, a little see-through on the booty. Like I wouldn't wear just this and this to the gym and start doing squats, just so you guys know. But you could also get it in a darker color and I feel like it would not be see-through. It's just because it's white. So yeah, I feel so good about this. I got another regular set that I'll show you guys. And then I got, I got a bunch of like a couple going out tops. So anyway, I might do a whole haul video, but I had to show you this in the meantime. And then look at these sunnies. I actually just shot this outfit today. I actually wasn't wearing the sunglasses and I'm kind of mad about it. I feel like I might need to go redo it because how fun are these? They have these in a million different colors too on Amazon. Like there's a green pair that I really want. There's an orange pair. I decided on purple just cause I feel like purple has been my color lately. I told you guys this, but I think I might need to get the green and the orange as well. How fun are these? And these were like, I think $11. Like screw spending money on sunglasses. You know what I mean? Like you need one good polarized pair to like protect your eyes and then the rest just have fun. But I'm a sunglass junkie, so anyway, I'm gonna go record, make a little coffee, go record, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Speaking of Amazon purchases, you guys, I went ham and I got so much stuff, but this was one of the things that I am so obsessed with and so happy about. Probably one of the favorite things I got because I used to have that ugly, guys probably remember seeing it, that ugly thing that I hung all my necklaces on and then like 
it was just horrific and it just looked so bad. So anyway, this is just in a little acrylic jewelry box with a bunch of different drawers. And I'm so organized now, I can see everything I have. I have like my everyday huggies, my bracelets. These are my other bracelets, my um little words project. And I have all my rings, some earrings, more huggies, more big chunky earrings, and then this drawer watch bracelets and then like these are actually my wedding earrings so these are like my little special how pretty are these i wore these on my wedding day my little special you know special jewelry and then this is actually a diamond bracelet that my mom got me that i also wore on my wedding day so special special and then more earrings necklaces and then last drawer necklaces so I can actually see everything now. I threw a bunch of like crap jewelry away that I'd never wore and just sat up here and just look at how much better this looks now. My little, what is this? My dresser. <laughs> if you're wondering, those two pictures are from TJ Maxx, Amazon. These are my little, um, like they're, they're Bibles. Well, these two are Bibles. These are um, the book of Psalms and Proverbs. And then this is a little daily devotional guide that I need to start writing in because I stopped. And I just thought it looked cute there, so I, I style it, packed it up on top. And then um, my little elephants. I, if you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with elephants. I used to have a, a full collection when I was little, but I got a couple of these when we were in Thailand for our honeymoon. So these are like my little figurines. This one's real crystal. My grandmother also left some to me when she passed. And yeah, pampas, pompous, whatever the hell, Amazon. These were from like my baby shower that my mother-in-law got. I'm not sure where they are, but I took them and I was like, I would need these in my apartment. And then I'm giving you a full little tour because I just think this looks so cute now. This has a, is a cool story. That is actually, oh my God, what's her name? His name. Oh my God, I can't believe I can't remember. Hold on, I'm gonna ask Ethan. Okay, it's really sad because neither of us can remember. And this was like our special thing. I got him for this for him for our one year anniversary. It was one of the statues at the resort in Thailand that we stayed at. And it means like lifetime of love and happiness or something amazing. I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to put it on the screen for you guys because it's really meaningful. So I absolutely love I can't believe I can't remember the freaking name. I'm so pissed at myself. Anyway, that was a little impromptu little tour. Dresser is Urban Outfitters. I'll link all this stuff for you guys. What's up guys? I'm making a very late breakfast today. The morning got away from me, but I want to show you what I'm making because this is what I've been doing. Probably the last week and a half. Two eggs and feta. If you are not an egg person, like I'm really not an egg person, but I know I need the protein and it's good for me. Adding feta makes them so delicious and my nutritionist Paige said that was that i guess i can call her that in terms of macros she was having me do three eggs and no cheese and i was like i cannot eat eggs without cheese so she was like okay do two eggs with cheese i think the macros are similar because i'm still getting fat and protein from the cheese anyway so good that and i think i'm gonna make a little avocado toast on a dave's english muffin if you guys haven't tried dave's oh my god their english muffins are so good here they are dave's also makes regular bread bagels and the thing about them like obviously it's bread it's still carbs but carbs are not bad the great thing about dave's is that it's all like natural wheat flour it's not like white flour like an, a regular english muffin or white bread it's all, I think it's like, yeah, organic, healthy, and these are so delicious. So this with a little avocado on top, a very balanced breakfast slash lunch. Okay, so it's hair day. We're here. I'm at Spoken Wheel in Boston, and Alessandra actually already cut my hair. Can't really tell right now, um, but once it's styled, you'll see the cut. And Elise is mixing up my color. There she is back there. <laughs> mixing up my color, and we're gonna go bright, a little brighter than it is right now, just because it's like super grown out. And then they have like these warmer pieces down here that. We're gonna add just like my, more of my natural 
color so like we, we have more dimension throughout and that's the plan i was considering like do we do something drastic do we go dark do we chop it off i'm just not there yet i'm not ready and i feel like the length is so good right now and the color is really good we're just gonna milk this for a little while that's the plan figured we would just have a little chat little catch up because i don't know i just felt like it so yesterday was my hair appointment here's the hair again today in natural light i pinned it back today and you can really see my regrowth but i just i'm obsessed with the color it feels so healthy i just feel like she does such a good job about like making really bright blonde look natural i never want to look like fake fake blonde even though I love the really bright blonde look so I'm very happy with it I'll give you one more quick look so good right so yesterday was such a fun day but I miss Logan so much like whenever I leave him for the whole day I'm just like I miss him and I miss bedtime and so like this morning when he woke up I was so excited to see him and I wanted to give you a sleep update so he when we got back from charlotte he was just like sorry i need to like put my hair back so i stopped touching it hold on it's literally a pet peeve i have about myself like stop touching your hair when we got back from charlotte he slept through the night probably like five nights in a row and we couldn't believe it and i actually said to ethan like i can't believe our baby is sleeping through the night this is crazy we've been waiting for this for eight and a half months this is amazing and i completely jinxed it because the night i said that he was up all night and what we're reading about now is this eight month sleep regression which it seems like every month there's a blank month sleep regression it's like you could look up anything and it's like oh yeah that's just the one month sleep regression it's like we've been going through regressions they just never stop so anyway i guess you know as he continues to grow up He's just learning new skills all the time. So like right before he learned to crawl, we went through this. Now he's learning to stand up and he really just wants to stand up. So it's a new skill, another regression. Anyway, all of this to say, we have gotten back on track. We're like, last night he slept through the night like he was up a couple times but we didn't go in there once. He just like woke up, cried a little bit and then put himself back down. So that's good. It wasn't as bad as like the other night that was just like, oh my God, are we fully back to like where we were? So that's promising the reason i bring all this up is because i recently started taking this sleep aid from you natural it's a stress relief and natural sleep aid so the reason i'm obsessed with these is sometimes throughout if logan's up throughout the night i have a really hard time falling back asleep when i take these at the beginning of the night it really helps me be able to even if i get up fall back asleep and have like as good of a night's sleep as I can have. I never wake up groggy, which is like my number one thing. Like I always get scared to take stuff like this because I just feel like that is a concern and I don't wanna wake up feeling worse and like tired. That's like the main reason I love these. So this brand, You Natural, they have so many different types of supplements that support multiple different things. They have one for conception, they have one for skin, they have, I mean, you name it, they have it. So I just thought this company was very cool. I'm actually working with them. They're sponsoring this part of the video. I am just like thrilled to be bringing them to you. So they actually have female conception vitamins and men conception fertility vitamins. So cool, they have a prenatal, they have a glow, they have a regulate to help with your ovaries and your hormonal balance. They have one for UTI and bladder. They have a staying cool one for menopause. They have a probiotic. I mean, like I said, name it, they have it, which I just think is so, so cool. So I've been loving these, especially as a new mom. Just one of those things that like sleep is just sacred to us. So it's very important that even if you're getting up with the kiddo or you're not, like just that you can fall asleep because the most frustrating thing is like when your baby is asleep and you know like that the minutes are counting down. If you're not asleep and the baby's asleep, it's stressful because you're like, I'm, I'm just lost a minute. I just lost a minute. I just lost a half hour. I just lost an hour. Like it's very stressful. And if you can't fall asleep in that time, you're just like, 
I, I missed the window and now I went to bed too late and now I'm exhausted. Like it's just the worst. So having something like this has really, really helped me. So I had to share that with you guys. It's basically just a regular part of my bedtime routine at this point. I just leave them on my bedside table right here. And right before I get into bed, I take them. I usually read my book if, it's, if I'm being good and I don't put the TV on, I'll read my book and then drift off. It's lovely. So anyway, we went for a little walk this morning. I'm wearing this, uh, I wanna show you guys. I'm wearing this sweat set from, remember I unboxed this from The Giving Movement. It's still my favorite sweat set I own. I had to just shout them out again. Like the joggers are so cute and so comfy. And like, I'm just gonna live in this all day. It's gonna be my outfit for the day. We got a little smoothie. Shot a little content. I was so annoyed yesterday in Boston because it was disgusting and rainy and I was planning on getting content while I was there because just being in the city, it's so much easier to create content there aesthetically. And it was just pouring. And I was like, of course, the one day I drive to Boston, <laughs> I can't even get good content outside. But I did get the hair and I'm very happy about that. So I'm gonna sign the vlog off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I was gonna say, leave any video requests below, but I got a lot of good ones already. I will see you in next Wednesday. I will see you Wednesday for my Wednesday video and then next Sunday in the vlog. And I hope you guys have a great week or weekend or whenever you're watching this.